Hello again, this is Professor Evans, and this is a lab demonstration for CET 3136C. This is a demonstration of Lab 7, Part C, where you had to implement a latch and two types of flip-flops as shown above. The first one is a D latch, which is triggered by a low level of the clock. The next one is a positively triggered flip-flop. And the third one is a negatively tri triggered flip-flop. These are all D latches or D flip-flops. So on the board, I have my clock connected to switch nine. I have my data input connected to switch zero. And my outputs are QA is LED two, QB is LED one, QC is LED zero. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the clock. I'm gonna change my data input to a one. You'll see QA is high immediately because QA is the output of the latch. It responds to a low level, and the clock right now is low. As long as the clock right now is low, that first latch is just going to respond to that input D. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back high. I am now going to make a positive transition on the clock. And now the output from QB is high. That's because again, this is a positively uh, a positive edge triggered D flip-flop. D input is a one, and when we get a positive transition on the clock, that output is available on QB. Now I'm gonna do a negative transition, and the third light is on for QC. Again, this is a negatively triggered D flip-flop, so when the clock makes a transition from high to low, the output D is passed through the bottom flip-flop there. I'm gonna make the clock high again, and now I'm gonna make the D input low. Nothing changed because this responds to a low level on the clock and this is currently high and I haven't made a transition for either of these flip-flops to respond to. Now I'm gonna make a negative transition on the clock by pushing this down and we can see that two of the lights are now off. The latch has an output of low now because it's a, a latch that responds to a low level on the clock and the clock is now low. This one also went low because we made a negative transition. This one is still high because we have yet to make a positive transition on the clock signal since we changed the data input to zero. So now I'll make that positive clock transition and the last light is off. And that's the end of the demonstration for lab seven, part C.